Tonight at midnight mountain time, uh, Ronnie Lee Gardner is to face execution by firing squad in Utah for the murder of two men, a bailiff and a defense attorney in 1985. Uh, he, has, uh, he has a few appeals left. I don't understand how this happens. Uh, that appeals, you, I mean, obviously you can appeal up until they fire at you, um, but, but the, the, there's something in the Supreme Court right now, and as we speak right now, there may already be appeals being heard. Uh, he uh, wanted, he chose to be killed by firing squad, hasn't happened since 1996. The most famous was, of course, in Utah, Gary Gilmore, uh, about whom the book uh, Executioner Song was written, was uh, executed there. Uh, it, you know, it, it brings to mind that very little has changed in our country because Gary Gilmore is 1977, 78, I want to say, uh, and we're 30 years hence almost and or over, and you know we still have somebody going in front of a firing squad in Utah, um, and uh, it's to me, you know, people say prisons about rehabilitation and punishment, and I, I used to. This is one of those. Um, issues about which I used to be pro-death penalty and I'm not anymore and I think that the innocence project and things like that too many people are freed because of wrongful incarceration. I think you are trying to sully the sure name. You think so? Yeah. And that, that's why you've changed positions. Right, that's that. true. That's exactly what happens. Okay. I'm just Huffington-esque in that way. <laughs> um, All right. No, I'm exactly where you are. I, I used to be pro-death penalty and as I look at this guy and he most likely, very likely did it. Uh, oh, he, he did it. Yeah. You know, he did it. There's no question. Right. Uh, and I think I've got almost no sympathy for him. Uh, I'm actually, I'm sure, to the right of you on that. Uh, and uh, the problem is, it's just, you think you know this guy did it. You, are you positive everybody did it? And we found out through the Innocence Project and many other things that, no, it turns out we'd convicted, you know, an endless number of people and, and, and sentenced them to death when yeah. they hadn't done it. I, I mean, I just, that's the thing. I, I'm... It's not be being liberal or conservative. I believe in facts. And if you show me facts and you say, all right, look, these are the people that were on death row who turned out to be innocent, I go, well, apparently we're not doing it right. Right. And societally, it's also about that. Are we, do we want to be part of a society that kills people, that actually puts them in front of a firing squad and kills them? Um, and I say no. Uh, and today I heard somebody on the news saying, and it's not a news person, someone being interviewed in Utah saying, in the times of Moses, they would have stoned this guy. Well, this, you know, to say in the times of Moses now is ridiculous. This is not the time of Moses. We've made, I think, a little bit of progress, or not, because we're about to kill someone. Um, I, I just, I, th I have a little bit of a hard time with uh, I love the times of Moses. Okay, well, in the times of the Visigoths yeah. uh, and the Neanderthals, they would have eaten his ears while he was still alive. <laughs> they would have hung and oh. drawn and quartered him. Okay, it, and what does that prove? And let's, let's just be clear, this guy killed two people. He did it in open court. There's tape of it. He killed a bailiff and a defense attorney. He killed them. There's no question about it. Do we want to be part of a society that then kills him? I, I, I don't think so. I don't think I'm that... more torn on that. <laughs> I, I, just, I just wonder, our eyes opened because of the manner of it? If, we, if, if this was a guy, uh, just another guy, say in Texas, yeah. that's uh, getting the death penalty by lethal injection, because he had a choice. You're right, as we know. I, Are I, we going to go... Oh, yeah, okay, because we know he did it. This is 100%, as you said. Yeah. Are we not going to say, oh, you know, I mean, you know, they, it is they numb him. He doesn't feel anything. He just goes to sleep. 100% about that. I mean, it's unusual. There are very few states that still allow it. Uh, if you are convicted before 1996 in Utah, you can choose to still have the firing squad. After that, you can no longer have the firing squad. Um, but I would argue it's irrelevant, okay? What I mean by that is, look, uh, I'm comfortable with the lethal injection, okay? When I And that's a... Funny thing to say, but like, let somebody killed my family member, right? I'd want him to die, and and, and just my human instinct, right? Yeah. And I, and as Ben always says, that's why I shouldn't get to decide the case, right? right? Because and and doing a lethal injection on him doesn't bother me at all. But if you said, oh, but what if you ripped his head off? No, I don't want to rip his head off. Okay, that's. That's great. So, of course, it matters how you kill him. Well, it does matter so how you some, kill him, but what JR so, is saying, that, w that we're giving all this attention to this prisoner, this, this death row inmate, because of the way he's dying. And, yes, it is a bizarre way to die. Uh, they bring him into the chamber. They strap him to a chair. They have a man, a doctor with a stethoscope, actually feel for his heart, then pay, they place a target over his heart. Oh, literally. Yes. There are five sharpshooters that are in a window. Four of them have a bullet. One of them has a blank. 
they fire and they kill him and within seconds uh, he's dead. Uh, they shoot him in the heart. Um, and it, it's, it is a very bizarre way to kill somebody in America now. Um, and, and as far as, you know, would, do you, do you want to, you know, I, I don't know that I would get great pleasure out of seeing somebody else stick a needle in the person who killed a family member of mine. I would want to kill them or I would want them to just rot in prison. I, I, I think it's a societal thing too, but that is that is my opinion. And that's the range of opinions. That's why it's interesting. So yeah. we'll, we will look and see. Uh, Ronnie Lee Gardner may have just a few hours to live or they may get a reprieve from the Supreme Court. There's a little aspect of it and that kind of fascinates me. Um, the five sharpshooters, one has a blank. Yeah. Yeah. So that you can say, maybe I was the one who had the blank and I didn't actually do this. I'm assuming that's, that's the reason. That's exactly the reason why. Because do. is there going to be a conscience thing now? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why yeah. they do it. Why do you sign up to do it if you can have a conscience about it? It's part of your job. It's not that you volunteer to do it. It's it's part of so there's there the, the possibility that if you work for the Utah Department of Corrections and you are a prison guard or a sharpshooter within the prison system, that that will may one day be part of your job. So. Right. I wonder though if you drew the short straw and you got to be one of the executioners and you said, look, I just can't do it, whether they'd fire you. Uh, I don't know. I, I doubt that they would. It's probably a pretty right. sensitive thing. It only comes up once every 15 years, it seems, or 20 years. And right. there are only four more uh, condemned inmates on death row who have the option in Utah of selecting the firing squad. Right. Uh, but, you know, you have to feel like there are probably some of them that are raring to do this, too.